So this is lab 4.1.10, where we are going to configure security in the BIOS and UEI, UEFI. I don't know why that's always so hard for me to say, but okay. So we're in Office One and we need to do some configuration to the BIOS. So I'm gonna, going to restart the computer. And as I restart, I'm going to press F2 so that it, or delete, either one gets you in there. So now we need to, we're in the BIOS, we're going to add an admin password. So this is a really good thing because you might not want somebody coming in here, especially if you're working for a company. You don't really want people coming in and making changes to the BIOS without your say so. So we're going to add that in here. Uh oh, it rebooted on me. Why did it reboot? Oh, maybe I was too slow. I was yakking and not getting it done. So let's go ahead and do this again. I'm going to restart. Okay, so we're back in. I'll go a little faster. All right, so let's look in security and expand security. And we have admin password. So one thing that if you haven't noticed, if you highlight something and then just let go, it should automa automatically copy it for you. So I'm gonna do that and now I'm gonna paste it in. So do a control V to paste that in there and hit okay. And that will save my password. Now we need to add a password that prevents hard disk access even when the hard disk is moved to another system. Okay, so let's find that one. So right here, this internal hard drive password. And so I'm going to highlight that to copy it again. I'm going to paste that in. Click OK. OK. All right. So I'm going to hit yes. Next, we need to enable TPM. So what the TPM does is it is a hardware encryption tool. So it provides extra encryption services and it'd be good to read this so you can see everything that it does, but I'm going to enable TPM security and click apply down at the bottom to save that. And then enable chassis intrusion to show an alert during post when intrusion is detected. detected. So this is if somebody accesses the, um, the chassis or the the box of the computer, why can't the case? That's the word I'm trying to think of. If they access the case, it will give you a little message during the next during the reboot post process, so that you can see that that happened. So let's find that chassis intrusion, and we're going to enable that and click apply. Okay, and now we're going to restart the computer to verify the changes that we have made. So I'm going to hit exit. That should force it to restart. Okay, so there we go. You cannot access the data for the pad. So let's put, put our password in here to make sure nobody can access that or so that we can get logged in here. Oh, do we have to type it in? Dog. P zero B. So that's a good sign. We got that. That tells us we did that piece right. Added layer of security. So while that's booting up, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit score lab. Let's see how we did. Okay, looks like we got everything. Thanks for hanging in there with me.